cinematic mode on the iPhone 14 is pretty bloody good. It's got me stuff though, why so many of my favorite YouTube creators are not using it. G'day guys, Shane Mostyn here on this channel. I do all sorts of photography tutorials with mobile phones, generally in low light. And this being the new iPhone 14 Pro Max, the sky is clearing. We might get some good stars tonight. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and I'm going to show you how to take photos like this with this phone. This cinematic mode, I've been on the fence with it all the way through the iPhone 13, and I've kind of jumped off it a little bit with the iPhone 14, thinking it's actually not too bad. It's got potential. But why are all my favorite YouTubers using it wrong, and what do I mean by wrong? These videos look like a deep fake video. See this haloing around my hat? They're not getting rid of it, and there is a way to get rid of it. There's a few things we want to keep in mind when we're using this cinematic mode, and that is good lighting in low light or nighttime. This just sucks. It doesn't, doesn't do very well at all. But in daytime, good lighting, it works really well. You can see the separation between myself and the background of this video pretty well. And if I push my hand out here, this should get blurry while I'm still in focus. And that's, look, you've got to be honest, that's pretty bloody clever that they can do that. But this haloing around the head and, well, even without any hair, that should be able to pick that up pretty well. But you can still see a bit of a halo here. So the way that we're going to fix that is in the edit. So we'll record a little bit of test video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's edit this. How good is this setup here? It's a Ripper tripod, Ripper phone holder. It's a MagSafe phone holder. This is by one of the videos, sort of the channel sponsors of our channel here, this Explorer photo video. They sent this tripod, they sent the phone holder. And to be honest, this is kick ass. I absolutely love it. Look, so what we're gonna do here, we go into the photos app. I'm gonna go down to that last video that we took and there it is there. When I hit on edit up the top, you can go ahead and edit the uh, different modes, just like regular video editing in this. But the thing that you want to get to is up the top left-hand corner, it's got F2.8. It's going to touch on that, and you can see the slider now down the right-hand side. And what I'm going to do, what this is doing, what it thinks it is, is the aperture of this lens. And it's not really doing that, it's the computational uh, side of phone photography, in this case videography. And we're going to change the amount of blur that distinguishes between the subject and the background. So we'll bring it down to say F8. And the way that I think about these F numbers is fence posts. But we'll get to that in just a second. I'm gonna hit on F8, hit done. And if I look at that video now, it's not nearly as bad with the haloing. So we'll record a little bit of test video. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's edit this. What I was talking about before with fence posts, it is relevant to phone photography still. It's just more so for regular photography with lenses that you can screw into the front of the camera. But with phone photography, there's no like uh, mechanical aperture adjustment that you have on most phones. There are a couple around, but the most phones, certainly the iPhone doesn't have that. And what it's doing is doing it through computational process. Now, when you think about fence posts, think about a, a row of fence posts and say there's 15 fence posts, say there's 22 fence posts and you're standing in the middle. And if you're on F2.8, that's roughly three fence posts. As in 2.8, it's close to three. We'll go with three fence posts, one and a half behind, one and a half in front. And that, that three in amongst that line of 22 fence posts, that three is what's going to be in focus. So if you think about it, fence posts from you to me, the focus point is on me, we're on f2.8 right now if i put my hand out here that should be blurry but this here is still in the 2.8 stage hopefully that makes sense to you so when you are starting to adjust that number in the edit bring in more fence posts higher f number the more of the focal plane the more depth towards that focal plane hopefully that makes sense it'll help you get rid of the halo effect i'll catch you later See ya.